I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the diamond waffle stitch, which is uh, the stitch that you see here in front of you. It is a very textured stitch. As you can see, it's comprised of double crochet stitches uh, worked underneath of some front post triple or treble crochet stitches. It creates a thick and solid fabric. This is your front and then just a very plain back. Today for this tutorial I'm going to be using a little bit of the Karen Times Pantone yarn by Yarn Inspirations as well as a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook and you'll find information for both of these items along with the link, the direct link, to the free written tutorial uh, in the description of this video, the free written tutorial can be found on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, don't forget to subscribe. Check out some of the other videos here on my channel. This channel is updated weekly with stitch tutorials such as this one and free crochet patterns. So let's grab our hooks and yarn and uh, learn how to crochet this diamond waffle stitch. Our pattern today is worked in rows. So you're going to start by making a slip knot and then work a foundation chain with a multiple of four stitches. Today in this tutorial I'm going to work a chain of a total with a total of 24 chain stitches. There's 20 and 24. Once you have your foundation chain the desired length, you're going to single crochet into the second chain from hook, so count in one, two, single crochet into that second chain, and then into each chain all the way across. When you reach the end of your row, you can chain three and turn your work. I'm here at the end of my row one, chaining three, and turning my work. Now for row two, you're going to skip that first stitch because your chain three will count as a stitch, and you're going to double crochet into each stitch all the way across. When you come to the end of this row, chain one and turn your work. At the end of row two, chain one and turn your work. We're now going to begin working some of the texture there in those front post triple stitches that I mentioned. So this is our row three. The first thing you're going to do is work a single crochet into your first stitch. Your chain does not count as a stitch. Now, working down in row one, so the row two rows below, you're going to count in three single crochet stitches. So there's the first one, second one, and then a third one. Now, working around the post of that next single crochet, so the fourth single crochet, you're going to work a front post triple, or sometimes it's called a treble stitch. So to work your front post triple stitch, you're going to yarn over twice, bring your hook in front of your work, into that fourth single crochet stitch, two rows below into that row one, insert your hook around the post of that stitch. Yarn over and draw up a loop. You'll have four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two more. That's your front post triple stitch. I'll probably show you that again a little later on. Now looking back up at the top of your work uh, 
in your row two, the tops of your double crochet stitches, you're going to skip that next unworked stitch. So up top you have a single crochet, you're going to skip that next stitch because that's your front post triple, and then you're going to single crochet into the next three stitches. So one single crochet into each of the next three. There's one, two, and three. So this is what your work should look like. You're now going to work a front post triple two together. You're going to be working it around the posts of the single crochet stitches two rows below and the first leg is going to be worked around the post of the same stitch where you worked your last front post triple stitch. So yarn over twice, bring your hook in front and back and insert it around the post of that same stitch where you worked your last front post triple, yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two more. At this time, do not complete the stitch, so you'll still have two uh, loops on your hook. Down below in that single crochet row, you're going to skip the next three stitches, so one, two, and three. Now around the post of the next single crochet, you're going to work the second part of that front post triple two together. So yarn over twice, bring your hook in front around that fourth single crochet post, insert your hook, yarn over and draw up a loop. You'll have five loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two more, and yarn over and pull through the final three loops on your hook. Now looking back at the top of your row two, you have that next unworked stitch, you're going to skip that stitch and work a single crochet in each of the next three stitches. One, two, and three. You're then going to work another front post triple two together and I'll show you once again. So yarn over twice, bring your hook in front of your work, insert your hook around the post of the same stitch where you completed your last front post triple two together, yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two more. Down in that single crochet row, skip the next three stitches, one, two, three, and work a front post triple, the second part of your two together, down around the post of the next stitch. So insert your hook, yarn over, and draw up a loop. Sorry, I never have to yarn over twice. Then one, two, three, around that fourth one, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through the final three loops on your hook. Looking back up at the top, skip that next stitch and single crochet in each of the next three stitches. So you're going to repeat that all the way across, just as you did before. So working your front post, triple two together with three stitches in between each leg down in that single crochet row then back up top skip that next unworked double crochet and then single crochet in each of the next three you're going to do that all the way across uh, to your final five stitches I'm just going to keep working here. So just like so, I guess it's the final six, but you're going to skip that one. So when you come to these final five stitches, 
you're going to single crochet in each of the three, the next three, and you'll have two stitches remaining. You're going to work a final front post triple around the post of the stitch of the single crochet that you just finished working in for your front post triple two together. So yarn over twice, bring your hook down around the post of that stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, and complete your triple stitch. You're then going to skip that next stitch up top and work one final single crochet into the top of your chain three because your chain three counts as a stitch. So work a final single crochet stitch. This is what your row three should look like. At the end of row three, for row four, you're going to chain three, which counts as a stitch, turn your work, double crochet into the next stitch, and then double crochet into each stitch all the way across. When you come to the end, chain one and turn your work. I am at the end of my row four, completing that final stitch, chain one, and turn your work. Now for your row five, we're going to be working the tops of these diamond stitches. And uh, from here on end, it does get a little bit easier. There's not as much counting, and it's easier to know where to place your hooks. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to work a single crochet stitch into each of the first three stitches. So single crochet in that first stitch and then to each of the next two stitches. And we're now going to start right off the bat working our uh, front post triple two together stitches. So yarn over twice. We're going to be working these stitches around the posts of the stitches two rows below, um, around the posts of uh, the front post stitches that we've already worked. So I've seen a couple ways of doing this. Sometimes I see people uh, inserting their hook around the post of what would be, uh, I guess the top, the single crochet stitch that they worked in and sometimes you see it where they work it right around the post of the front post stitch. So it's really up to you as far as how you would like to work it. Uh, it doesn't make too much of a difference in the end. I'm just going to be working it around the post of the same single crochet as the front post down below. Okay, so insert your hook around the post of that stitch, either the front post of the front po uh, the post of the front post triple or around the post of the single crochet yarn over pull up loop yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two now you're going to want your second leg either around the top of the front post two uh, triple two together or around the single crochet so yarn over twice insert your hook around the, that post of the stitch yarn over and drop a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two more, and yarn over and pull through three. So your diamonds are going to be connected to one another, as you can see there. You'll always be working around the posts of the same stitches, so you always want your corners to connect. Looking up at the top, you're going to skip that next unworked double crochet and then single crochet into each of the next three stitches. Front post triple two together, so yarn over twice, insert your hook around the post, the same post as the uh, previous stitch that you worked, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two more, complete the second part of that stitch reaching over around the same post as your other front post triple two together pull up a loop yarn over pull through two 
yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three. At the top of your sketch, you, of your work, you skip the next unworked double crochet and then single crochet into each of the next three stitches. You can see that my diamonds are connecting quite nicely there. That's what the look that you want to go for. You're going to continue to repeat that um, front post triple two together stitches and your single crochet stitches all the way across just as you did previously in your row three. And you should see these diamonds come out quite nicely. When you come to your final diamond in this row five, you're going to finish it with your front post two together. Skip the next unworked one and then work one single crochet in each of the final three stitches without uh, not forgetting your chain three counts as a stitch. So you'll work your final single crochet into the top of that chain three. And that's what it should look like at the end of your row five. Now for the rest of the pattern, you're going to chain three, turn your work, and you're going to repeat your rows two through to five for as long as you would like your work to progress. So your row two started with your double crochet stitches, your row three, here, I'll turn it around was this row down here you started with a crossed front post triple stitch followed by your front post triple two togethers your row four was another double crochet row and then the row five which we just worked and that's all there is to working this diamond waffle stitch so thank you so much for joining me and uh, once again don't forget to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you next week. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.